First of all, I didn't even know I was going to be having a speech tonight. I thought I was coming to chill. But since I'm up here, I got to say, rest in peace to take off. Yeah, thank you, Andy. And shout out to Hennessy for sure. For always holding me down. So here we are, the third installment to King's Disease. King's Disease 3 dropped, and uh, we just uh, just put it on Instagram, and ain't no promotion. I mean, it ain't about that shit. When you stand in where you, when you, when you know what the fuck this shit is really about, you can't worry about the shit that don't matter to the art form. I want to thank my bro my brother Hit Boy uh, for for getting me to work faster than I ever worked in my life. Hey, shout out to Hit Boy. You know shout out to Hit Boy. Straight up. Absolutely for Respect bringing something you. out of me, man, that I've been wanting to kind of like unleash for a while. Hit, you're a bad motherfucker, man. <laughs> So, I appreciate every last one of y'all for showing up here in the building tonight, New York City. Hey! New York City. Yeah! I appreciate all of y'all for being here tonight because we just came to vibe. Coming out of Queens, New York. Yeah. I never thought I'd really still want to give up music. Cause this shit is just like something you do. And uh, I had a lot of fun outside of music. So I didn't know we'd get into a locked in situation like the pandemic and shit. That's what started me and him working together. And uh, his, uh, his own soul is what made him uh, able to like capture sounds of New York, even though he's on the West, you know, music universal. And his, his old soul was able to get with my old ass. And understand what I wanted to do with so many other producers uh, were, were trying to do with me. But my man from the West Coast, but he an honorary New York nigga. The greatest producer in the game right now. My brother Hit Boy, make some noise. <laughs> Yo, it's kind of hard to like get on the mic after Nas and shit, man. Period. Like his speech game, his narrative, like he be doing ad libs and this nigga just, that shit just flow. I be like, nigga, how did you think to say this shit? Like it's crazy, but I mean, shit, but I'm happy to be here. Four albums in, that shit is unbelievable, dog. Like Three Kings Disease and just me being from the West Coast, me being from like, you know, kinda like a different area, even though like I grew up studying Nas, like, you know, I'm really from the West Coast. I was on Snoop, East Siders, Dub C, all these motherfuckers, and then I like I started getting older and really diving into like East Coast hip hop and just, you know, tapping in. It's just like
Bill Russell jersey, solid and sturdy, Stevie's harmonica in my head. With a will of me, the model tuck, the Benz is red, blue one that's hobby shit, it's obvious these. The most on the roller coaster ass niggas, please. And most of these guys are supposed to have male tendencies. One more time. 